from toleratedcinematics.com and today we are going to talk about how I created the arrow effects in our Archer video. If you haven't seen that video yet be sure to check it out with the link in the description and for those that have seen that video let's see how I did this arrow impact effect. We actually have two types of arrow impacts and the first being the arrow impacting the cabin. <laughs> And then the second one being the arrow impacting the apple. Well, your aim is bad. What? Are you kidding me? Could have killed me. Yeah, so what, man? So these are two different methods on how we did it. And yeah, let's see how we did it. The first thing that we did is we shot the entire thing on a tripod and that's going to make things a lot easier, of course. And it's not on purpose. It's just that we were short on crew and there was no one standing behind the camera. So we just hit record and did our act. And that's how we did things. So it's going to make things easier anyway. But if you want to, you can do some moving shots and you can just track that portion of the wall. And then what I've done is I took a picture of how our arrow was going to impact a little bit so it was kind of straight so I took a straight photo of this arrow and then I just imported it in After Effects together with my footage and I masked out the arrows. After I masked out my arrow I changed the anchor point to be on the tip of my arrow so I can actually rotate it a little bit and that's for later but yeah just making sure that our, our anchor point is set there at the beginning of our animation. Then I just took my arrow and put it off screen and I also animated the scale to be a little bit bigger so it actually comes from behind the screen a little bit bigger because it's closer to the camera and that's going to give you a little bit more of a 3D feel and then over the period of two frames just two frames we impacted it on the position of our wall so we animated the position and the scale to get there then we masked out the first part of this arrow so it actually looks like it's in the wall and after that once you see it impacting into that wall we position that anchor point just on that point where it's actually impacting and we animated the rotation just from that point on we animated it slightly with a very very slight tilt for three frames so each frame we rotated it a little bit to give it that kind of impact shot and that's going to add a lot more power to the impact of our arrow then I added a little bit of smoke, very, very subtle. You're barely going to notice it unless you know, and now you do. So go and check that one out again and see if you can notice the smoke in that video. As you can see, using very subtle effects, you can get some really cool results. It doesn't have to exaggerate all the time. You see a lot of beginners doing effects and just making sure that you, you will see it and adding a lot of smoke, adding a lot of opacity to it. So it's actually very obvious that you see it, but the art of visual effects is actually that the audience doesn't see it it, but that the audience feels it and yeah just giving that a little bit extra smoke is going to add up in general and this is actually a pack that we're working on so we will be releasing that one soon but that's all I can say for now then I created a new black solid and I masked out a small part of that solid I added a lot more feather and I also took down the opacity and this is going to count in as a shadow for the arrow on impact just giving it a little bit of shadow around the impact making it very small and then I also play with the opacity to just match my shot where I was comfortable with and then I searched on Google for a crack in the wood and I actually masked that part out and I just added a tint effect to that added a curve so actually everything around my crack was white and everything around my well everything in my crack was black and then I set this to multiply and again play with the uh, opacity there to get it matching in my shot. Of course, for the arrow that is impacting, don't forget to enable the motion blur for your composition and for that layer. So you get some more realistic motion blur to that. So that's how we created that effect. And it's the same kind of technique for all the other arrows on impact. The other thing that we did there differently is the perspective of the photograph of the arrow. So we actually took the same kind of perspectives as we actually see it on our scene. So it actually really looks like it's integrated well into our environment and I actually took these photographs in that same location so it actually looks like it's catching the same kind of reflections and of course I also played a little bit with the curves to just match the colors to my scene. Then the second effect was the arrow impacting the apple. Well your aim is bad. What? 
grapple and it looks very dangerous but rest assured it's very very safe how he did things. So my friend who was playing the archer is actually experienced in archery so he's doing that a lot in his free time so he knows a lot of stuff about it so definitely if, if you are going to do this be sure to just play it very safe. Each time that he actually shot an arrow I was standing behind him just for safety reasons even yes. though he's experienced something might always go wrong and we don't want like a film scene to end up like a real bloodbath. So basically what he did is he was standing towards the door and he was aiming with his arrow towards that door but we actually tilted him a little bit more to the right and he was actually shooting at a target. It looks like he's shooting at me, but he wasn't shooting at me at all. I was just standing behind him, controlling the camera, and then in the next shot, I got the impact. What I've done there is I had my apple in my hand, and I actually did the act of having the impact of the arrow. So I took my apple, and I just did, I imagined the arrow going through it, so what would I do? And that's what I've done there. Then I kept in that same spot, my friend came along, and he put the arrow through my apple, put it back into my hand, and then we recorded another video where I was doing exactly the same thing just with my apple and the arrow through it in my hand and just doing the same kind of motion again and now we cut these two clips together so one where I almost have the impact and then the rest of the clip is where the arrow is already through and because everything is going so fast it actually looks like it's going through it but the arrow was already there. What I have also done is just that part where I have the arrow through the apple I sped up a short portion of that video to 200% and that's going to add a lot more power to that impact. It's really going to look like the arrow is going through because we can't really control how fast we're going to do this impact. This is also a cool technique when you do fight scenes if you impact on someone or you're fighting with someone just the, these cuts in between if you just speed them up like 200% it's going to be just a short portion but it's going to give you a lot more momentum a lot more power in your impact so that's a pretty cool tip you should take note of all right so that's it how we created our archer video if you like this type of video where i take you through a project that we made and how we did it uh, let me know in the comments below also give this video a like and yeah i'm also going to be talking about how we did the sound because sound is a very important aspect of video making but that's going to be a completely different video so definitely subscribe subscribe if you aren't already and also for those that are subscribed but are not getting my notifications be sure to go on my channel and next to that bell you have this setting where you can check on get notifications for this channel so you don't miss out on any of our uploads. I had some viewers having issues with that so now that should be resolved. Alright so that's it for this video and see you in the next one. Goodbye.